Hey you guys, this is Raphael from ShilohRelics.com. I hope you had a really good holiday. I know I did. I got to see my mom and dad and I got to spend some time with my daughters. That makes every day better in my book. I hope that you're doing well. And today I thought we would talk about something that's got a little flash to it. Um, this sword is a model 1850 foot officer's sword. And it is the sword that would have been worn by the lower ranking officers of the Union Army. These swords were uh, made in lots of different styles, lots of different grades, lots of different small details. If you notice, the guard on this one has just a floral design. There's no US lettering. That lets us know it's a foot officer's sword rather than a staff and field. The staff and field will have a US in a guard. It's made of cast brass on the guard with gold wash. And you notice this one still has a lot of the gold wash still on it. Makes it really pretty. The handle of the sword has a wooden core and it's wrapped with black leather on the top of it. Really nice quality leather, as you can see here. They show up with leather, they show up with shark skin and ray skin. They also show up with a solid handle, uh, either uh, silver or silvered brass. You see a lot of different variations in those as well. So if it's a great area to collect because there's tons of variation and there, you can have a hundred of them and they can all be different in some way. This one has a blade that's full length and it's a knockout. When you look at this blade, it's like, wow. The other day you heard me talk about Collins and Company in Hartford, Connecticut, and how they made really quality blades for different uh, retailers. This one was made by them in 1862. It has their mark down on the bottom of the blade on the blade portion just north of that. It has the marking from Schuyler, Hartley, and Graham in New York City. And that's a name, if you're gonna be in Civil War stuff, you're gonna see that name a lot because Schuyler, Hartley, and Graham was one of those companies that sold really the finest of the fine. They competed eye to eye with Tiffany. They made great looking things like this. And you can see why they would want uh, their name on it. On the back of the blade, we have a special point, but if you notice the front side of the blade, it has the big spread wing Union Eagle. And again, I mention it a lot because I think it's so cool. Our American Eagle, it has arrows of war in one talon and branches of peace in the other. We can give you the peace, but if you don't want the peace, we'll give you the war. Hopefully never happen again, but you can if it needs to. On the back of the blade, this one has a cool trait. Check this out. This sword was custom engraved and custom gold wash to make it more detailed. It talks about how it was presented to a WHBB, B-E-B-E. -E -E. <laughs> and it mentions that it was the second Excelsior Brigade. There are some swords, when you look them up, the soldiers just don't show up. And this is one of those swords. He shows up and another regiment, the 7th New York, which was a bunch of rich boys from New York City. And so that's probably him. He probably was going to get into that regiment and this sword was given to him because two of the other guys show up in that regiment as well. It's a sword that needs extra research and a lot of times I'm not good at research so I just leave that for whoever gets it down the road and it gives them something to do because you guys know that if you like the research, you love the research. I am not that good at it, so I'm gonna leave it to y'all. Uh, the blade still has a lot of the original factory luster. It's accompanied by the original scabbard, and the scabbard on these show up a few different ways too. You'll have them where they'll be all metal. You'll have them where they'll be leather and brass. You'll have them where they'll be shark skin and brass. This particular one is leather and brass. And if you notice down at the drag, and the drag is the part on the pointy end of the, where this pointy end of the sword would go. It has a cool, cool ancient repair. They wrapped it with a twine and then coated it uh, almost like a, a sail repair. And I love that because 
it lets you know it was done way back then because you can tell by the patina on it. And as we talked about, the patina is a flavor. I like the flavor. The mounts of the sword are made of brass, so is the drag. They still have some of the original gold gilding as well. And when you hear the word gilding, all it is is where they put a gold wash on it and it makes it pop. It makes it really pretty. And this one has a lot of it still remaining. Cool sword. Cool, cool, cool. This sword is available on shilohrelics.com. I've got pictures from every angle on it. You can go in, you can read about it. If you like that research, go in and see if you can find him. See what you can find out because uh, the full inscription's listed on the blade. It'll give you guys something to do if you enjoy that. Uh, as for owning this sword, you can do it today. It is available as of now on shilohrelics.com. You can own this beauty for $3,450 or more. I'm always willing to take more than I ask for any piece on the website. Just know that. I hope that you guys are well. I hope you remember that when you get that opportunity, please be kind to people because I know my life has been saved because of kindness. There was a memory on Facebook that popped up yesterday and during one of the hardest times of my life uh, after Lori passed away, I was lost. I had no earthly idea what was gonna go on in my life. I didn't know what to do. And there were several times where just random acts of kindness saved my life and I am so thankful for those uh, and those people and this one was done by somebody I still don't know who did it my daughter and I were in a restaurant we were sitting there and we were eating and all I could think about was how she was gone and how lost I felt and I remember that feeling vividly and I got up to the counter and I was gonna pay the bill and I was going home and just sit there by myself and be in misery. Somebody, and I still don't know who, bought our dinner. And if by chance you're watching this, I hope you know how much that meant to me. And since then, I have done it several times to try to pay it forward. I'll never be able to repay the kindness that that saved me that day. I hope that you guys remember that you're loved. When you get that chance, please be kind. Love is the greatest gift we'll ever get. I hope y'all have a good evening and I'll catch you next time.